Good afternoon, everybody. It's Michelle Marie Tlani. Of course, it is the evening. It's actually good. The sun's actually starting to go down again. I turned the contrast down a little bit so I don't look too contrasty uh, because people who have looked at the picture uh, and said I looked kind of, it really showed my wrinkles in my age. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> just, just to be, I forgot. Um, Today, I'm not really having anything specific to talk about, um, other than the fact is that I hope that you are keeping up with what this government is doing. Um, by the way, the Senate bill is called um, S-978. That's one that wants to revive um, making streaming copyright material, um, unlicensed copyright material, illegal. Um, which would bring it closer to the regular Copyright Act laws. <sighs> However, um, there's a couple problems. That I think um, even if you own the copyright and it's your music and it's your work and it's everything is done by you specifically, there's a chance that if somebody wants to really be an asshole, they can say it's theirs and then you can go to jail. Okay, that's not really cool. Um, so I think we need to uh, remind Congress that Senate Bill S-978, the way it's worded, is also too vague, too ambiguous, and that creates problems. Governor Jerry Brown of California today signed into law the transgender bill, which allows for transgender people to use the bathroom of their preference as well as be involved in school sports of the choice of being a boy or girl sports teams. Oh, I wish she had this when I was a kid. I'll tell you, I could have seen me a lot of trouble. Um, but they didn't. Um, unfortunately, um, I am not transgender. I am a hermaphrodite. But, of course, the same California law, if an accident in Connecticut, would have made my life a hell lot easier. Um... Unfortunately, it does certainly bring up some questions in, um, about implementation of this. So I, I, there's going to be definitely some um, reviews into things about um, the legislation that needs to be addressed. Of course, it also is tonight on the National Geographic Channel. I believe it's starting at 9 p.m. is something called The Castle. Um, Doomsday Castle. It's actually going to be a very fascinating show. It's going to be on after Doomsday Bunker. It's on Dish Network, Dish Channel 186. And yes, I have my DVR set to record the series. Um, I also had a chance to read a brief Yahoo um, Life Science um, discussion with the family that is building this. It is very impressive conversation about how they're doing it and things like that so i think it'll be a wonderful show to watch might be very educational especially if you're in the construction uh of course my family has been in the construction trades uh for many 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 aeons so this is going to be a wonderful show for me i love watching shows when you're building things um and that's because as i said my father was a was a was a, a carpenter he was a cabinet maker he was both a rough carpenter and a finished carpenter he was a floor layer and yes, like the old somebody, John Fogarty says, I am just a living legacy to the leader of the band when it comes to woodworking. Um, I can tell you when I see something's made right just by looking at it with my eye, if it, if it, if it pleases me or not. Um, and incidentally, my dad was, I did have some musical abilities as well. So he did actually um, enjoyed um, playing around with music, mostly listening to it like I do, but also he was into um, singing. Uh, you can almost hear him sing when, he, when I was very young, but still, and he did sing. He had a little bit of a Johnny Cash on to him, and um, it really was kind of nice to hear that, you know. And, of course, he and my dad had a couple organ books to learn to play the organ, which told me, kind of explains to me why I am interested in musical instruments, especially I'm interested in uh, things like the violin and the harp. Obviously, orchestral harp is huge. By the way, watch the Harp Twins. They are on um, Camille uh, and Kermer Kernerly. 
are on um, YouTube. They do some really interesting compositions of modern rock songs into um, pieces for uh, harps and a duet of harp, both the allergic and the acoustic harp. Um, may very well be of interest to you. Um, the one thing about the harp is it's a very large instrument. It's it's not something you're going to be putting in your back pocket. Uh, maybe a little smaller auto harp you could, but not not a full size harp. Um, but still, it's very very fascinating to see uh, how these two uh, sisters, identical twins, have decided to pursue and work together in performing musical pieces. And uh, you know, that's an example of what I'm talking about when you go to cooperation. And let's say competition, you can get really far. Now, I know I held grab the cup from my left hand and my right hand. Please don't think I'm winning. No, she's not. <laughs> I'm doing my next. <laughs> You're going to do yours next. Um, also, I wanted to talk about um, what is it that you, the audience, are interested in? What kinds of subjects? I don't really hear much from you. Well, because I think most of you guys... I know you guys watched the last piece about the Senate bill. Um, I didn't know the bill number at the time. Now I do. It's, so it's if you want to stop this Illegal Piracy Act, there is a there is a petition going around. I put this up on Facebook. Um, and we could also... I'm sure the WhiteHouse.gov probably has one too. So if you go check We The People website and see if they have one to... Um, you know, return some common sense to copyright law. Also, the um, Congress has not quite finished um, coming up with a bill that um, we all make unlocking your cell phone with third parties legal again. Um, but they're working on it. I got a feeling our wonderful Cong. I got a wonderful feeling that the lobbyist groups, in this case, AT and T. Verizon, Sprint, and probably T-Mobile are probably saying, "Is hell no, you're not doing this. Um, but maybe not. I don't know. You're going to have to keep up with this, some of this stuff, because I give you the information as I get it. I try to give it to you in a timely manner. That's always been my way. But you guys have to do the legwork, too. Okay? If there's, an, if there's a story that interests you, and you want me to find out more about that story, please leave it in the comments, along with the URL of where I can find the story so that I can follow up on it and review it and see if it's suitable for my channel. Now, let me explain. My channel is a little different than Lumi's. I don't think the channel description really is up to date anymore. i got to update that. But basically, Lumi tends to cover the spiritual stuff. I cover, besides weather events, I cover... Um, day-to-day issues like politics and survival. Okay, that's what I've been doing. Anyone who looks at my playlist would see that. That there is a certain type of feel to that playlist. Um, the Sherry Heaton um, interviews the North American Snow Queen video is a great video, but I'm afraid that maybe it's not quite really the best video for the job, but I will have to look at a new introduction video and maybe cut it down to a lot shorter and um, uh, let's see what I can do. Working on my weight. <laughs> I have kept hearing and reading, researching this issue about weight loss. It is conflicting, aggravating, and annoying. Some people say you need to do this. Some say you need to do that and forget doing what you first was the right one. Some said neither one makes a difference. And frankly, honey, I'm getting fed up with diets, okay? I have been trying to figure out how to get my weight down and get rid of the spare tires without basically feeling like I'm starving to death, okay? That's really serious to me. Um, I have lost a very small amount of weight. I say small, I mean small. I'm not saying, you know, I lost 10 pounds this month. I know I didn't. I lost maybe about three, maybe four pounds so far um, this month. So how did I get such a big spare tire on me in the first place? Was um, just plain food abuse. Um, to be honest with you, it happens to me. I enjoy food and 
and guys especially when they get upset stressed out whatever i eat totally it's like there's nothing because they say eating increases your you know dopamine to your pleasure centers of your brain and especially if there's lots of sugars and sweets and so that gives you the satisfaction of feeling good it's the same as crack and cocaine it's the same issue um in fact they say the world non nutritious sweeteners may not have calories they do not help you lose weight because what happens is they they do something to the, the hormones and the neurotransmitters in the brain and it really screws it up to the point where you're not going to lose weight in other words sure I can buy aspartame, which is a poison, by the way. It actually is, it breaks down to arsenic, formaldehyde, formaldehyde. Or I can use Splenda, which is chloro, uh, chlorofluor, uh, chlorinated sucralose. 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 I don't really know how what to describe about that. Okay, it's supposed to be sugar that you can't really use. And then, of course, I can use saccharin, or something that's known more precisely in the field of sodium saccharin. The problem with sodium saccharin is the sodium part. Yes, that's salty sodium. It's good for your neurotransmitters, but the problem is with sodium is it can also raise your blood pressure if you use too much of it. So you got to really kind of exercise a little question. I got saccharin in my coffee. I like the taste of it. I like the taste of it better than the do Nutri Sweet and Splenda. So, yeah, I'm the one who uses the pink packets that you see in the restaurants and go, Ew, who uses those? Those are dinosaurs. Sweet and loud, yucko. Actually, it's not yucko. We, my family and I used to use saccharin and everything. I mean, See, because when I was a child, um, my mom's pediatri- my pediatrician told my mom it's best to not give Michelle sugar because it makes them hyper, and then of course they crash. You know, after a while they just the sugar rush. It's out there, whoop, and then all of a sudden, you know, the insulin kicks in, so pfft, you know you're down there again. Uh, so she says it's best to keep Michelle on a low sugar uh, diet. And um, I was re- I was a lot skinnier than I am now as a kid, um, relatively speaking, because remember I was physically a lot smaller too. But um, I think why I I, try, I have eaten a lot of junk food over the years as an adult is because I'm not I don't feel like I'm being told no you can't have that ice cream right now. You already ate one about two hours ago. No, you can't have the candy bar right now. That sugar's too high. You know it's like. So I think what happened was is my body is, uh, I'm just almost as an adult. It's almost like, you know, I'm trying, and it's almost like I'm rebellious. It's like, well, now I have the money. I'm going to go buy, 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 buy. And then you buy. And then all of a sudden, bloop, 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 bloop. Oh, I think I overdid it. <laughs> I can laugh at myself because it's true. You gotta have fun with yourself too. And so that's 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 true. You gotta have fun with yourself. Because it's important. If you can't laugh at yourself and and laugh at your mistakes then you got a problem. Okay, that's a fact. Now, the rest ball is on the table. He's actually snoozing. I don't know. I think he's sitting in the, uh, in the, you know, kind of just basking in the lights. I don't think he really, um, that's, we're going to talk about that in another video because that's, this is getting kind of long. Uh, but here's the questions I want to ask you. Okay. Uh, we are going to be working on some more topics. Um, I'm going to have to see about trying to figure out, what, especially if this new, um, Senate Bill 978 passes i'm gonna definitely have to change some changes on my channel one other thing is the tour of my apartment has the music by the beach boys which is in my room i will have to take that off um or at least i'll have to see if i can download the video and blank out the soundtrack and i think that would be a really sad loss or i can leave it up there and probably end up in a federal penitentiary because i decided that 
Um, unfortunately, the Beach Boys never contacted me. I don't know if they have a problem with the song being used in that video or not. It's a great video. Uh, it's a great video. It shows me using my iPhone as a handheld hand held shot as we toured the apartment. And um, the other thing is, is I want to know what you kind of topics interest you. Because, you know, like I said before many videos, I really am open to discussion. But you guys have to tell me what you want to hear because I don't always have an idea. Sometimes I just, I'm just, I just draw blanks, like, you know, with, with ideas. That's why I haven't done a vlog in the last few days. It's because either A, I have physically felt like crap. Um, that's partially because my body is trying to readjust to working on less calories which i definitely have to do that um and also it i did not go to the soup kitchen today because it just did not impress me um i'm not gonna be at the soup kitchen tomorrow either until a package from fed um ups shows up so if the package comes early in the morning before i would normally leave for the soup kitchen then I will leave for the soup kitchen and I'll see you there. If for some reason the package comes when I normally be at the soup kitchen, I will not be at the soup kitchen. So, in other words, it's not like I don't want to go to the soup kitchen. It's just that I have to get this package. It's from a landlord. He paid me money for this and I have to get it to him as soon as it comes from through the mail. Um, well, that's it. And don't forget, you can always leave me a private email, too. It's B-I-C-H-E-L-A-3 at gmail.com. Or you can call us at area code 860-469-2821. Again, that's area code 860-469-2821 in the United States of America. You can also send us a text message as well. Um, just if you get the voicemail, um, please leave a message which speaks slowly and clearly so that Google's um, speech to text can transcribe it clearly. Now, coming up, by the way, in a few months will be, um, is, I already feel it coming in. I can feel the north wind starting to kick up. I got a feeling we're going to have a nice winter this year. Um, several, I did talk about this um, a couple of weeks ago um, that several. Um, predictions say we're going to have, for New England anyway, we're going to have a nice cold winter with lots of snow and colder temperatures. I'm looking forward to that. And um, I do know that they're still having water shortages in some places in the United States. And um, so hopefully something's going to work out with the weather. I don't know yet, but we'll have to keep, you know, trying. So... Anyway, little me is going to do her channel video now. And uh, what do you guys discuss say? Uh, I think we're going to talk about something to do with evilness. Evilness? Evil. What is too evil? What is... We discussed that before. We did, but I think that um, from watching... And seeing the people around me more, I think I can come up with a more definitive plan of how to explain evilness um, and true incarnate evil. Um, you know, I, I was going to say with Slim is that I think it's great that you're doing these videos, but I think that in essence, I think that they're too highbrow for most people. That's probably why your viewership is like down in the socks. It's because it's not that you're... Well, I'm here to teach. You're here to teach. But maybe we need to bring it down to everyday examples. Um, I mean, you did a great job on Life Chart. Thank you. And you really did work on that. And I know you've been working on that for, for, for weeks prior to addressing it. And I know that you took time on that. So I am very impressed by that presentation. But to explain true evil, if you just explain it the way that, just as an abstract, people are not going to crack it. It's just going to go right over their head and hit the wall and then basically get run over by a car. That's how, how complicated your topics can get. Um, I think people need to hear... Um, maybe something more, not so much about true evil, 
by itself, but maybe compare it with true good. Well, obviously you've got to compare them together because, you know, true evil and true good um, are opposites. Yeah, anti-evil and anti-good. Yeah, but make sure people understand it, that good is not necessarily anti-evil. Because there are, good, there are evil people that can do good too. But then they're really doing it for themselves. And so for their own gain. But we'll talk about that on my channel. We'll talk about that in your You can talk about that in your channel. And of course, please understand that Lumi has her own channel. And she is... Would you like to get it? Sure. Um, it's, we have a, a tiny URL because um, YouTube made my channel name so complicated. You can't really even find the URL directly. It's simply just as www.tinyurl.com forward slash l-u-m-i-f-i-n-i-s-t-r-a and which is my name Lumi Finistra without the space between Lumi and Finistra and of course let's like Michelle we have the same phone number 860-469-2821 please leave a message and we will look into your comments suggestions whatever and uh, if you're watching this, if you're watching my show videos through Michelle's, uh, sharing them on Facebook and other sites, please understand that Michelle's page is different than my page. So, you know, there are different pages and there are different locations. So, um, and just don't get them mixed up. Please don't. Please don't. As the sun's already starting to come through Michelle the window, so I think we're going to have to close those blinds because otherwise I'm going to look like a overlit yeah we'll go all right so everybody we're gonna i'm gonna get going and let me we'll work on her video and then we'll and also what are you gonna do about your channel you gonna add any kind of like an introductory or something to the videos or is it just gonna be like you've been doing for for two years and not really have any kind of introductory we did that once yeah uh, it's it works okay the problem is is that um with the new copyright laws that the Senate is trying to pass, I'm not even sure what I'm supposed to put up there. It's that bad. It's that bad. It's going to screw up everybody. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's it. So don't forget to like and share. And please comment. Let us know what you like, what you don't like. I never said I would never help you. I never said I would never listen to you. And I always wanted to hear from you. So this is your chance. It's always been. Okay? Bye-bye.